Hi everyone, what's up? Today we are going to celebrate the National Moon Day. Before that, let's listen to a poem written by D. H. Lawrence. New Moon The new moon of no importance lingers behind as the yellow sun glares and is gone beyond the sea's edge. Earth smokes blue. The new moon, in cool height above the blushes, brings a fresh fragrance of heaven to our senses. Thank you, Nanda, for your melodious recitation. Since the dawn of time, moon has fascinated humans. Poems and songs have been written about its beauty, mystery and spectacle in every language and culture. The moon is 384,400 kilometers away from earth and it has a radius of 1738.1 km. The advent of telescope helped us to get a better view of our cosmic neighbor. In 1609, Galileo Galilei made the first drawings of the moon, but it was during the Cold War era that moon became the focus of space run between Soviet Union and United States of America. So let's learn about the National Moon Day which we celebrate on July 20th. National Moon Day is celebrated on July 20th. Moon Day remembers the day we first walked on the moon in 1969. The NASA announced the moon landing as being the single greatest technological achievements of all time. Now you may think that we would have made thousands of trips to space since then, but it really is not as easy as you'll soon see. So let's begin the video with first looking at the history and important dates that began the initial start of the space program and why we celebrate National Moon Day. First, in 1961, John F. Kennedy starts NASA's work on man's lunar landing. In his historic speech on May 25th, President John F. Kennedy announces the beginning of NASA's Apollo space program. He states that his plan is to see an American on the moon by the end of the decade. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long range exploration of space. And none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. Next, in 1964, for the first time ever, Americans are able to see televised images of the moon's surface from images transmitted by NASA's unmanned probe, Ranger 7. In 1968, Americans watch as the first manned flight on NASA's work, Apollo 8 repeats its orbit around the moon 10 times. And finally, in 1969, the world watches as the three-man team became the first Americans and humans to step foot onto the moon's surface. Two years later, in 1971, President Nixon declared the moon landing day on July 20th to celebrate the anniversary of man's first moon landing. In 1972, NASA's Apollo program comes to an end with a final manned landing, Apollo 17. Now that we know the quick history of Moon Day, now let us look into some of the main expeditions made by mankind. It was on July 20th, 1969 that Apollo 11 carried the humans into Moon. There were Americans, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first persons to step on the Moon surface. Six hours after the landing of Apollo 11, 
Neil Armstrong was the first astronaut to step on the moon. He spent two and a half hours outside the spacecraft that had landed several hours earlier. In the command module, there was a third astronaut, pilot Michael Collins. He waited alone in orbit until Armstrong and Aldrin returned. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin almost collected 50 pounds of lunar materials as specimens. These specimens were placed in Apollo 11 and brought back to Earth to be investigated by NASA scientists. Back here on Earth, millions of Americans as well as millions around the world watched the live broadcast giving these astronauts a worldwide audience. They all watched as Neil Armstrong stepped onto the moon's surface and said the words that pretty much everyone around the world is now familiar with. One or two inches. I'm going to step off the land now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Uh, I believe it's ready. Ready, ready. When this happened, it was one of the most monumental occasions in our world's history. Now let me tell you about the expeditions made by India to the surface of moon. There is always something special about us Indians. We are always fascinated by rockets and then we send something into the space we called it Chandrayaan 1. The story started in 2003. When out then the Prime Minister made the call, it's time to send a rocket. On 22nd October in 2008, we Indians stood tall and saluted the nation. Eventually, on 14th November 2008, we became the fifth nation to be on the moon. Chandrayaan operated for 312 days and said goodbye. Just like our smartphones, our heating was the problem. Of many discoveries it made during the 10 months, Chandrayaan was the first to find out water and ice on the surface of moon. Chandrayaan 2 was the second mission to moon to explore the uncharted south pole of the celestial body by landing a rover. Chandrayaan 2 was launched on July 22, 2019. On September 7, it attempted to make a soft landing on the lunar surface. The lander Vikram missed the primary landing site and went for the second. The visuals went missing henceforth. Now ISRO is working on Chandrayaan 3 to make a soft landing on the lunar surface. It will be launched in 2021. Now you know about the National Moon Day, lunar expeditions, etc. But how to celebrate the Moon Day? It's very simple. You can visit a nearby planetarium or you can watch films based on moon missions. All of you enjoy and bye bye.